Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we will do a form submission and how do we know that form is being submitted all these things like tracking the form submission, checking the form is valid or not, showing the proper error message for the form validation either using classes and all these things okay. So let's try to improve our form validation from the previous video. Currently this is how it works which is not that good. We'll try to optimize it. So let's try to see our code. Okay, here it is. Okay, so this was our code in the last video. Now what we will do is we will just improve our validations. So what we can do is we created a error object. Here we can just simply check few things like uh, values.email. So we can also introduce one more property. For now I think name and password should be fine so we can actually do a form values dot name if this is empty if values dot name is coming empty then errors dot name please enter or you can say name is required simple message not the big one name is required similarly we can actually say value dot password if this is also coming as empty we can actually compare it with single quotes okay if this is coming coming empty then password is required okay other than that what you can do is you can do the length check and all like if this is there if value dot password is there first of all then we can check value dot password it should be values not value okay let me just fix this values dot username values dot password if values dot password is there then i can just check the length if values dot password is less than three okay then password min length is three something like this okay rest you can add right here we are just passing the error object now and this error object will help us to determine what error message need to be shown. Now what all different ways to show the error message either by add appending a class showing the message something like that right. So same thing we can do is we can use the class name property in these input text field itself to show some kind of validity right. Instead of showing error message if you wanted to show the classes like in the class name what we can do is we can append the multiple classes based on some condition this is form control okay in the form control and the next class which we have is based on some condition so here i can see errors dot name if this is true then actually add this particular class is invalid or just say nothing okay so this is how we can append a particular class based on particular condition in the field itself error dot password if error dot password is there then it is invalid class we are adding otherwise we are not adding anything so this is a custom way of adding a particular class so based on this class you can just show the red border some kind of a increase the contrast show some kind of a message all these things can happen okay and if you wanted to show the message we are already showing it here something like this based on the name and password okay so there is one more property we are getting from props is it's submitting okay so if pro the button is getting submitted right then what you can do is you can actually do some kind of transition here if props dot is submitting then you can just say please wait otherwise by default i will see submit right all these properties we are getting from the formic is submitting and all and you can access all these properties directly here from props and here we are submitting the form so we are getting all the values we can enhance this validation in future using some kind of a schema if we have many text fields like email username password consider that we have email also here with the username then it will become a bigger right and our number of lines of code is getting increased 
here input type we have email form control errors dot email I have okay everything should convert to email enter email value dot email type is email name is email always care about this name this name should represent the correct text field it's email right now I can initialize email with some empty value and on this I can do the same kind of validation check okay if email is empty then email is required and you can also check the email format by some regex comparison right here and see that pro please provide the valid email okay so this is how we are doing it now our form is getting heavier right lengthier if we just talk about all these methods so how can we get rid of these so formic provides its own form component which we will use in next uh, video we can actually replace this heavy form html form field with the form which formic is providing and we don't need to handle all these things explicitly because formic inbuilt will handle all these things so we will see that in the next video okay thanks everyone